Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of new makeup. I have the new Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice Palette and I got a PR package from Bobbi Brown so I have that new skin tint to try out and I also have a bunch of other things like that Lawless new lipstick and lip liner thing as well. So many fun things and I am super excited to be digging in so let's just, let's just do that. <laughs> So this thing from Bobbi Brown actually came to me yesterday. It was this like big pack and inside there is this like info about the new things and there is a vitamin enriched face base and eye base and then there are two of the new uh, like I think they're called a the skin tint right? These are the vitamin enriched skin tint broad spectrum SPF 15 and I have two different shades I have, okay, light three and medium one. We're, we'll see which one fits me the most because I do have quite a bit of tan right now. I've been enjoying the outdoors and I also have one of these new powders and this is the vitamin enriched pressed powder and I have it in neutral, which looks like this, which I think is gonna be a great shade for me. This seems baked. It seems like a baked gelé formula just from like looking at it. I have tried a sample of this before, but I have not tried like a full size of this, but I'm definitely keeping it. Yeah, this is the one that smells a little bit like citrus. I think I am gonna be using a primer that I like know and love before this one. I'm not 100% sure which one is gonna be for me. This one is the medium. Let's see, I'm guessing this is yeah, this is probably going to be the one, right? I'm guessing this is going to be a light coverage. Because my face is also, as you can see, lighter than my, lighter than the rest of my body. And that's basically just because I like having like a hat on outside when I'm, I usually am like laying by the pool with a hat reading. So my skin gets more tan than the rest of my body. So let me zoom in and let's try this one out. I'm actually filming this quite early in the morning. It's before nine o'clock in the morning. So I thought I'd wear this for a full day and I'll put a pinned comment down below of like the wear test of these things, the new things that I'm trying out because I'm intrigued and I'm guessing if I'm intrigued, so are you. So I'm just gonna put on a little primer to begin with. If you're wondering about any of these things that I'm gonna be using today, any of these items, it's all gonna be linked down in the description box. Some of my links and codes are affiliated and if you do shop through them or if you use them, I do earn a small commission. And if you do, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Let's dive into this skin tint. So the medium is the one I'm gonna be using. I'll put the light to the side. I think I'm gonna be applying this with a sponge. I really like this like detailed little applicator thing. It comes out very runny, which seems very promising. It does smell a little bit like the primer, like a little like fresh citrusy, but not too much, definitely not that overly florally rosy scent that some like more high-end brands have. I do think that this is a good depth for me, but it might be slightly too peachy to be like perfect, but it's definitely gonna even out my skin tone a little bit. And as you can tell, it's definitely like a sheer coverage. It is just evening out a little bit, definitely just tinting the skin but i actually enjoy that like i enjoy let me see if i can just put some here i enjoy a, a skin tint i enjoy something that's light coverage i enjoy something that's sheer coverage i am super excited to see more products like that on the market i feel like there's just something so nice about just evening out your skin tone and just letting your skin look like skin with that being said, I'm not into the no makeup makeup um, aesthetics. I am very much a, a full face of makeup kind of a gal, but I like a colorful, dramatic eye look and a like seen their makeup, but with a sheer foundation. And I know that that's not maybe super common, but that's something that I like. But this is my skin just with a layer of the skin tint. I think it looks good. It's gonna be interesting to see how this looks with some powder. It doesn't feel 
sticky. It just feels like I've applied moisturizer, which leads me to believe that this one will dry down. A lot of you were asking if I could try out the Huda Beauty corrector with the Huda Beauty concealer. And I will say I did try that out before, like off camera. Uh, and I did really enjoy it. But let me show you how they look together. But yeah, I can tell you already that these two jive very well together. I just blend out the corrector a little bit just in my inner corner and a little bit in my under eyes. Just where I have the darkness, I try to not spread it too far too much. I might even have used a little bit too much today because like I don't want the corrector where I don't need to correct something. So I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna leave it to dry for like a second or two uh, before I go in with the concealer and I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of the bronzer while I wait. This one, I'm still reviewing this one. This is from Beach Cosmetics. It is a little bit <laughs> too light to work out for me with the tan that I have going on right now, but it does show up like a little bit. So we're doing a very lightly bronzed look today very lightly bronzed. This one is in fair to light and as you can tell this is this is a barely there bronzer but honestly sometimes I like that and I really did enjoy the formula of this one so I am just want to be making sure that this one jives with something that's uh, not super matte as well. Okay so I've left this for like a minute or two and I am just gonna do a little bit of a concealer and I'm also gonna have some out here and I'm gonna have some here I'm also gonna have some here this is gonna be my concealer for today and I am using like I said the Huda Beauty one and this one is in Sugar Biscuit 3.5 N which I think is a really really good concealer for me when I want to have something that's not overly brightening like it's just half a shade lighter than my skin tone which is honestly really nice sometimes you want something that's like super light and bright you can tell it's still brightening a little bit but like having a concealer that's closer to your skin tone it's definitely gonna help with coverage if you want coverage from your concealer try to take one that's so close to your skin tone that it's like almost your skin tone that's what's going to give you the most coverage because if you pick something that's too too light and you have dark circles and you don't use a corrector for example it's just going to make it look a little gray and for most of us that's not the look we're going for perfect for halloween maybe not for like tuesday at the office as you can see these work very well together they layer very well together they do not look goopy or like extra textured or anything like that I overall think that these look really, really good together. I am going to be using... Do I want to use this now? I kind of want to use it now. Okay, let me use this now and then I'll use do some uh, brows and we can do some like powder products. I bought this from BH Cosmetics. I still love BH Cosmetics. Maybe I should apply some of this as well my, while we're waiting. Because I did buy <laughs> some of the lip oils as well. This That is a cat hair. Shoot. This is the Juicy Gossip Lip Oil, about two shades, two colors, two scents. And I got watermelon, and I think this is mango, right? Hello? It says nothing. Pretty sure this is mango. This has got to be mango, right? Yes, it smells like mango. So let us try the watermelon one. I don't think they have a color to them. Oh, it's a little bit red. That's very comforting, but not very thick. If you love a thick lip oil, that's not this. But these smell exactly like those uh, watermelon candies. Exactly. Even my husband said that. I'm like, smell this. <laughs> so I bought one of the cream blushes. And again, it has this little thing. And this one was the color that was like closest to being orange, but still it's not orange. And this one is the, what are the colors on these? Where is the colors? Am I missing something? I, I cannot find the color on this one. So I'll put the color down below, but I cannot find it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a sponge and 
Let's see how this one looks on because it is a matte blusher and I do have It's actually really nice and I do have a shimmery blush highlight Product as well that we can use but it's a powder This one was actually really easy to apply. I need to try how this one mixes with the liquid highlighter as well It's very sheer not super sheer like you can see it, but it's definitely shearing out and it was easy to like blend out I'm just the the bottom was the part that I had the foundation on That actually looks really nice I'm gonna wash this off I'm gonna do my brows and then we can do some powders okay before I get into the powder that I have here I have to tell you this dried down but look at how fresh this looks but this dried down okay okay I see what you did there I'm gonna see if I, I I'm just picking this up with the brush I'm gonna make sure that we are not setting any creases mm-hmm this definitely is not like brightening on my skin tone, which I think we all could see from this color here. I'm just gonna set in my T-zone because that's where I get oily. I never get oily like in the entirety of my face. I have a combo skin. I never get dry. Never, never get dry, but I get oily in my T-zone. Mm-hmm. It looks matte but not flat. But that looks really good. That actually looks really good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I will say the packaging of these are really cute with the, the black and the white and you can see some of the... This is a squeezy packaging but it's like a very sturdy squeezy packaging if that makes any sense. Okay, I want to do my lips and then we're going to do like the powder products on the cheeks. Let me show you. I might have to get up. Oh, are you prepared? <sighs> so, I got, <laughs> I got this package. C can you hear me? Hello? I got this package from Lawless. This is the... Oh. Uh, <sighs> oh, I'm falling out of my chair. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the oh my god! Can you even see? Like you, you can't. Hello, the it's the lipsticks. It's the lipsticks, and it is so large and in charge. And there is a bunch of shades, and I kind of want to use this one. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my! The color that I want to use is Tropic. It looks like this. And it's almost a little pinky, which is more than I use. Like, I don't use, like, do super pinky things. I think I'm going to match it with the lip liner in Creamy Smooth Light Ultra Pigmented Cinnamon. Which looks like this. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this. I love the Lawless Lip Gloss. Oh, that is very pigmented. I love their lip gloss. I cannot wait to try some more formulas i will say straight out of the gate that is super creamy and super pigmented if you like a lip liner that isn't this creamy because i feel like this is like a glorified lipstick it's like a lipstick but in a pen form i usually prefer something that is not this creamy because i feel like some of the ways that you're actually being able to be precise with a lip liner is that it isn't this creamy so I prefer something that is not this creamy, but if you have, how many times have I said creamy? Don't take a shot. If you like something that is super creamy, almost like a lipstick, but like in a pen, you will probably love this. I prefer something that has a little bit more, I don't want to call it tug, but like not this creamy. This almost has a bit of a shininess to it. 
I kind of want to leave this for a little bit and see if it dries down because it is super creamy. I can also tell you that this powder, it looks beautiful on the skin, but it did not set my under eyes. So I'm going to go in with some of my normal powder. I have it here because otherwise it's not gonna set my under eyes and I need them to be set. So let's leave the lips for a second. I'm gonna fill in my beauty marks. And while we wait for this lip liner to hopefully set down, let's do the powder on the cheeks. This is the Iconic London Kissed by the Sun and they sent me, I think, all of the colors. I'm not 100% sure. So I have Playtime, Date Night, Oh Honey, Hot Stuff, and So Cheeky. And I think we're gonna do this hot stuff. These look absolutely amazing. I'll pop up a picture here from my stories where you can see all the colors, but I'm pretty sure that this one is the peachy one. So they come in a very <laughs> like fingerprinty prone packaging like this. And look, look at that. Look at that. So we're definitely going to be trying this one on a top of this one. And I'm going to be using a like a more flimsy brush. And I feel like this is like a... Yeah, a blush highlighter hybrid. This looks so good. On top of that cream blush that we had as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is very pretty. It is not like metallic, especially not when you put it on with a flimsy brush. So it just looks like a soft glow, but with a beautiful color underneath. That looks really pretty. I, you can see here, it has like a golden sheen to it. Very much enjoy how that looks on the skin. I've been so into the effortless glow not like super beaming but more like healthy glow i don't want to be matte but i also don't want to be metallic i want to like you know happy in between let's see how this lip liner is doing it's been a couple of minutes i don't know if i love that i don't know if I, that's not that's not my favorite when it comes to lip liners i don't want this happening but you can see, like, it looks creamy. But let's put this lipstick on. And if you're wondering why mine looks almost a little, like, why it looks a little weird. Yeah, it's been over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, over 40 degrees Celsius here for weeks and weeks. And these were, unfortunately, outdoors for a couple of minutes before I realized that they were there. Oh, that is a lovely formula. Oh, that is so thin. Oh, yes. It's not like one swipe pigment, but I like that because it makes the formula very thin, non-goopy, and yes, those are the kind of formulas that just look beautiful on the lips. So this is the color Tropic, and I feel like Tropic is like a muted coral because it doesn't really, it's not leaning too pink, and it's not really a peach, but it is like a muted coral, and I gotta say... I kind of really like this. And the lipstick, I adore. This is also a, a magnetic packaging. It's like a brushed rose gold. Very pretty. The lip liner, I don't think that's going to be a favorite. It's not really what I like. I'm just making sure that everything is looking blended. And let's get in to the eyeshadow. We're gonna go into the Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice palette. What date is it today? It is, I'm filming this on the 2nd, and this one is releasing, I think, on the 5th. So I will put the info down below. Oh, I still have the plastic in this one. So this is what the palette looks like. It is basically a mix of, yeah, sugar and spice. So you have like nutmeg, mustard, star anise, sticky date, brulee, taffy, gumdrop. Like there's definitely is a mix of sweets and spices. And this is a neutral palette with a couple of pops of pastel. And then star anise is definitely one of those multichromes from the uh, gold green to like pinky maroon and I think there is a bunch of really fun textures in here and you know how much I love 
a pop of pastels. I'm actually very excited to see more than one pastel in here because that's very much my style. So you can use the code Jessica when you're shopping at uh, Glaminatrix and get some money off. I don't think I have a code with any of the other brands that you're seeing here, no. And I will, of course, like I said, put everything in the description box. And I will also mark what things I bought myself because the order from uh, BH Cosmetics, I made myself and some of the things have been sent to me as PR. I did buy the Huda Beauty myself. Oh, I wish I would be on the Huda Beauty PR list. I've been enjoying so many things from Huda Beauty. It's honestly crazy bananas how much good makeup they have been releasing. But yeah, we're gonna do something that is, I think, because I'm, I'm really enjoying this lip color and this makes me very excited about this lipstick overall. And it makes me think that maybe I should lip swatch these because this formula is beautiful. But I wanna do something neutral with a pop of pastel, which is what this palette is. And it's gonna see if I can keep it a little light and fresh because we're still in summer. I am in denial. This is not fall season. I've been talking uh, so much with Ali Dawson and she is so excited about like fall coming. And I'm like, can't relate because I, I'm a Swede. We like spring and summer. <laughs> Most of us, most of us, we like spring and summer and I am definitely a spring and summer kind of a gal. And no, the heat doesn't bother me that much. I actually quite enjoy it. So let's see, they're kind of cool tone neutrals, but I think I'm going to start with sticky date and let's see how this looks. This is very much a cool tone taupe, but I am going to be using that brownie shade as well, which is more of a uh, chocolatey, uh, chocolatey brown. And we're gonna see. I usually really enjoy Glaminatrix eyeshadows, and I don't think that there's gonna be a difference with this one. I will say there's something about cool tones. I just don't love them on me. I it's it's like cool tone like gray taupes like this. I just feel like they always turn a little bit ashy where I blend them because I do not have a cool undertone. So this is the, oh, this is very pigmented. This is the brownie shade. Oh, this is more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. That is lovely though, because we can make this a little bit more of a smoky outer corner. And I think I'm gonna use this color under my eyes as well. I might use a little bit of this one, the one that's called Brulee, just to blend the edges a little bit. Maybe on, this is, an, this is my own brand, by the way. This is Singe Beauty and this is the EO3. So I'll use a little bit of the Brulee and I'll just blend that here to just make my own skin tone look more cool tone than it is just here to make it appear smoother, I guess because I just feel like it looks a little ashy when you, like when I blend like grays and stuff into my skin tone. Let's see what happens if we just go over this one again. Okay, I did a little bit under my eyes as well with that brownie shade. I think I might use a little black as well. I'm gonna go in with the Cinch EO5 and the black one is called Licorice and ugh. I could really use some salty licorice or licorice ice cream. <gasps> oh, that would be so good. That would be so good. Maybe I need to head over to World Market with my husband and get some of that because you can't find Swedish salty licorice there, but you can find from other countries like Netherlands, for example. I think that oh, I'm really smoky today. I will say again, the blend, it's not perfect, but I do think some of it is due to me being uh, not a cool undertone. So cool tones just do not match or mix the best into my skin tone. I can like blend the yellow very easily into my skin tone. This is me though, but a gray, not so much. Okay, I wanna do some pastels. Are we gonna do even some shimmers? There's some beautiful shimmers here, I really should. I especially really like this lavender one here that I don't even think is a duochrome or a multichrome, I just think it's really cute. So I think we're gonna do... 
Okay, hear me. <laughs> Purple on the lid, yellow in the inner corner, and this one on the lower part. Okay, so let's actually, oh my god, is this one clean? I don't know. Let's start with the mint one. Hmm, not super pigmented. Oh yeah, wait, maybe I didn't get it on properly. That is definitely very pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's do the purple gumdrop. And I'm using my EO1, which I think is a perfect packing brush, especially for matte shadows because it just picks up amazingly. So I'm just packing this on and just fluffing it out a bit. On the same brush, I'm gonna do the lavender, which is the shimmer, and I am gonna spray this. Let me get a, a Fix Plus, a trusty Fix Plus, and I'm gonna spray that, and we're gonna put that here in the middle. And we're gonna disperse it a little bit into the crease as well, not gonna make it super sharp, and a little bit more of the gumdrop matte and just put on the edge. I will say I wish this one had a little bit more pigment to it even when I like put it on. Maybe I could have used a white base myself but I didn't and then I'll do a little bit of licorice and brownie mixed and I'll go back and blend this edge here. Just dotting it on a little bit to make sure that this edge is not super weird and shoppy and did i get any fallout no not really so that is the eye look right now let me see if i can just get a little bit of the taffy which is the yellow oh yeah in the inner corner that is so pretty together so that's basically going to be the look honestly i think it looks really incredible i'll probably put like a mint on my waterline. I just curled my hair or like my bangs, but I want to come back and just show you how this looks a little bit like closer before I put my falsies on. I think my skin is looking so fresh and so nice. I mean, you can still see some imperfections, but honestly, I'm very impressed. This looks so nice. I put on some lashes and I think everything is done. I'm really enjoying how this is looking. I forgot to put my wedding band on. Still married though. Let's not gossip. I think this looks incredible. I feel like this is such a good like summer bright and fun and colorful but still smoky and a little grounded with this one. I will say the two standout products from today is the lipstick Love the formula, love the color. Again, this is a Tropic, but I really want to try the other ones. And this skin tint looks incredible, and I cannot wait to use this with even more different products to see how this is going to jive. And like I said, I will put a pinned comment down below letting you know how this wore out throughout the day because it is now, it's 10 o'clock. So it took me like an hour to film this video, and I'm going to be wearing it throughout the day. And I usually wash off my makeup just before I go to bed, so I will probably get 12 hour wear out this. So check the pinned comment down below. I will say with the palette, I think the palette is really, really beautiful. I personally don't prefer this cool tone shades in my crease personally, but I know a bunch of you do. So if you're looking for something that's neutral, but with a pop of color that's pastels, like something new, it's not the typical, you know, turquoisey or teal blue. It is not the jewel tones. It is not the typical pop of color. It's like actually pops of more pastely summery ones and you like cool tone neutrals. I really think you would enjoy this palette because I think it works out perfectly fine. It's just the cool tones leaning this gray usually isn't my favorite type of colors to put in the crease, but I normally really like the Glaminatrix quality, so I was not surprised that it's still looking really beautiful on the eyes. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Let me know if you tried any of these products. Let me know what you think about these, and I will see you again tomorrow for new makeup releases. Bye!